quick lesson for pages 9 and 10 of page 1127. Not too hard of a concept. I actually think reading over page 9, some of the instructions look a little more complicated with all of the letters than actually solving it. Uh, when you actually see the problems, I think you'll find it a little bit easier to do. Study the examples though on page 9, the ones especially at the bottom of the page that have numbers, okay? And uh, see what they're doing there. <clears throat> when we get to the page 10, let's read the instructions carefully. They uh, remind us that we are only going to look for the positive root. So even if, it, even if we could have a positive and a negative, just, just write the positive, okay? And then if we have a, um, an irrational number, they want us to actually use the chart on page 33 to get the decimal approximation for that, all right? Or you can use a calculator, it says, to uh, get the decimal number rounded off to three decimal places. So let's take uh, this first example here. Notice we have a five exponent outside the parentheses. So this is saying the third root of 64. So we're asking what number times itself, times itself, times itself, three times would equal 64. And that would be four, okay? And that's to the fifth power. And then the square root of 64 is eight, right? Because eight times eight is 64. So now we can um, take four times four times four times four times four five times <clears throat> and then take that answer and divide by eight. So I'm going to let you um, do that on your calculator or with pencil and paper. But now that we've simplified it this far, you can turn it on. Notice this is not 20, okay? So we have to multiply this out. It's going to be a bigger number and then divide that answer by eight. <clears throat> Let's take a problem like this. This says the third root of 8 times the third root of 27. Now we could multiply 8 times 27 and have a big number and do the third root, but ah, that's not really helping us any. Because I actually can do the third root of 8. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, so I can simplify this to just be 2. The third root of 27 is 3, and I'm just multiplying those two together, okay? So you can finish that one, and uh, you'll have an answer to one of the questions, okay? Now, we have um, 2 times 51. Let me see if we, how far does this go? Nope, it only goes to 100. Um, We can multiply these together. 2 times 51 would be 102, okay? And then just use your calculator and get the square root of that. If you want to, you also could go to the back and see that 2, the square root of 2, is 1.414. 1 1.414. And the square root of 51 is 7.141. You could simplify each of those individually <clears throat> and then multiply those two together and get an answer. You could do that. Um, I think it'd be easier if you have a calculator to just go ahead and multiply the 2 times 51, get 102, and then uh, get an answer. Round your answers to three decimal places. All right, like I said, this is an easy section, and uh, so we'll let you get going on your homework. <clears throat>